Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Ascending Souls Journey. I am Laura Lynn, and I am here to give you the messages for the month of September. This is a general reading, and it is for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Taurus. And general means love, career, finance, family, friends, whatever comes through this reading, you're going to know how it applies to your life, and you can take the information that does and let go of what does not. Make sure you always watch your sun, moon, and rising sign. Wow, my darlings, you have a lot coming in for the month of September. So we're going to look at it week by week. I'll tell you the, the pros and the cons, and I'll show you the adversities, etc., with the detail. So starting off the month of uh, rolling out of August into the month of September, we have the Hermit card. The Hermit card is going deep within you because you already know what to do. You're very grounded. Normally you guys are very grounded and you know how to make things happen. But when we go through earth shifts, when we go through universal shifts and the planets are aligning to make a huge profound change that affects our science, that affects the universe, that affects the human existence and that's my degrees in that. So this is a lot to absorb. You also have the five of swords. This is feeling internal conflict and almost like, I don't, I don't know, I'm not sure, is this really it? It's conflicting energy with this hermit card. So you might be struggling and even hearing some of your own little inner thoughts is not very positive as you roll into September. However, this is a moment for you to shine. We have the Seven of Wands. So by the second week, you're going to be analyzing things and rewriting, whether this is your entire life, rewriting your, your uh, resume, rewriting your business plan, whatever it is, it's like your life plan in general. When you rewrite it, when you write it out and you look at it, it'll help you get that Five of Swords energy gone. Now I'm gonna pull an adversity card because we kind of need something to offset that five of swords you got conflicting you may be feeling should i shouldn't i should i shouldn't i and with that you guys you have all all the answers are already inside of you we have the ace of swords and the ace of swords is saying this is a new beginning so you're struggling with a new offer a new person romance job Whatever is coming through, you're struggling with the new beginning, and that could be struggling with the changes that are going on around us, the economy and everything, and I'm not, I don't go into that in a whole lot of detail, maybe in a personal reading, but not on a general reading. This is, with the Ace of Swords, this is slicing out anything that does not work for you, and that could very well be the conflict that you're dealing with, because the Five of Swords, this is arguing, this is, in, this is fighting, this is... Um, I'll pull detail. This is a lot of uh, anger. So if you're feeling the stages of grief and you might be in the anger stage, a little bit of justice is needed with that Ace of Swords and it will come. So I am in New York and it is very loud here and it doesn't matter what time of day. At 3 a.m. it's a little too quiet and everybody can hear me. So even if I go outside, it's just like, wow, it's just very noisy. So with the Seven of, Pen of Wands, you've got the Ten of Wands. This is an opportunity for you to rewrite anything that did not work for you. That second week, write it out, plan it out, plan, uh, draw up new contracts with people, draw up new contracts, whatever it is for you. The Ten of Wands is a lot of burden, a lot of weight on your shoulders. And if you reanalyze by writing it out, this is gonna be very beneficial. You're gonna to have to stand up for what you want. We all are as we move into 2020 and 2023. This is like fighting uh, with competition and fighting for whatever it is that we want, but in a healthy way. And that's what you're being guided to do is come from a place of truth and transparency. So that's a lot of uh, weight. That's a lot of weight depending, you know, weighted energy depending on what you're doing in your world. So let's pull some of the real detail. We see the adversities, here we go. Okay, we have the, t the tower. This is a change of plan. This is a divorce for some of you. This is severing ties with somebody that you actually love. The Queen of Cups is here and the Queen of Cups is a very happy person normally, but they are not just that they're every, every human being has human being 
characteristic traits, which is both positive and negative. Cutting out what did not work for you. This Queen of Swords, I mean Queen of Cups. A Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, definitely you have Virgo in your reading in the first two weeks. But with this, this is opening up your heart and the changes that are taking place, whatever took place in the tower, that could be your belief system, that could be actually your entire home, relocating, losing a job. The tower takes away what doesn't work anymore. And if we don't take action, the universe comes in or the world itself will come in and make that change for us in whatever direction it thinks is best for us. So this is you sitting there going, oh, I don't want that to happen. So rewriting whatever it is, redrawing up a new contract that may have blown up in your face, so to speak. I'm going to pull one more card with this. We have the Six of Wands. By doing this, Taurus, you will be, a, and if I called you any other name, I apologize for that. Taurus is the reading. Uh, it's a lot of information. I hear it, see it, feel it. So I'm transferring all of this information and it's very, very quick. It happens like this. So I do make errors on occasion. Victorious, leading a group of people, rewriting, restructuring your business plan is going to bring you in an offer that is going to put you back up where you want to be in the Six of Wands. Victory. Now, we have this Ten of Swords, and just because you're victorious doesn't mean that it's over yet. We still have to clear out the old residue. If you work with me and I work with you on breathing, you know what I'm talking about. You gotta clear out all the old residue and join me in my seminar uh, coming up in September. That will help you tremendously. This is all of the pain that you've experienced in your life. It may have been 10 different situations that really hurt you, stabbed you in the back, to the point where that weighted is actually from the pain and that is what's causing this. You may be doubting your own ability, but you've got what it takes. You have everything in you with this Hermit card. Towards you've got everything in you. So the Ten of Swords dealing with a lot of pain, a lot of uh, letting go. After the Ten comes the Ace. So this is just that leftover residue of whatever you couldn't see. And for a lot of you, this is guilt. It isn't that you didn't see the new opportunities. It isn't that you didn't recognize it, you did. It's that you felt guilty about letting go of whatever this situation was. You may have made some wrong errors and that's why you are rewriting it, but it's going to lead you to success because by the end of the month, you have the Ace of Cups. This is a brand new offer, a brand new cycle coming in for you where your heart is going to open enough to give you new to bring down what you're meant to have and when i say give you new it doesn't mean romance what we love if you love your job if you love money that may be it whatever it is that you love i think a lot of us love money right but that's all changing so by rewriting you restructuring you it's going to lead you to the ace of cups now you know the five of cups is a very challenging energy it truly is you may be dealing with a cancer scorpio pisces because they are very heavy the cups energy is in this reading as well as wands and swords so that's a lot of fire a lot of air and a lot of love all mixed in one there's your offer this is the queen of wands now with the queen of wands although it's an adversity it may have some challenges with it but for a lot of you this is you releasing everything and you're getting ready to start something new this type of an offer would be from like a a mid a small to mid-sized company but well established and very nicely run for the most part somebody that is very confident and when it comes to romance wow this is going to be incredible we'll get to the romantic side in just a moment this may very well be whoever you were dealing with that you needed to clear out of your life, where you may have cleared out the old, the lies, the deception, anything that led to that Five of Swords energy. And in the end, you will reconcile with that organization, that company, or even what it is that you planned on doing all along. Now, justice is here as you roll into that third week. So what you felt guilty over, the pain, the struggles and the strives that you've been through in your life with these cards, you will have justice, restored, but not vengeance. There's a big difference. 
So this is a beautiful, beautiful way to end that third week. Now let's see where this is going. We need a little more detail here. I hope you guys are doing well. Please subscribe to my free newsletter uh, on my website. And I always uh, give more information there. Now we have the death card. This was an ending. This was an ending, a loss, and that is the tower. That is the five of swords. So this is in the reverse. Now this is a detail card. So I don't normally read it that way because the detail cards encompass both sides for me when I do these readings. Whatever it is, you are ending something and getting ready to start something brand new. There's the offer. There's the opportunity. And it's going to be emotionally satisfying. I like what I do. I enjoy what I do with a smile on your face. So it won't feel like the Five of Swords anymore. Now, we're going to take a look at love because th this is, you've got what it takes, you guys. You do. You already have everything inside of you. You know what's going on. So let's see what's coming when it comes to romance. There we go. So as it falls on my lap, I'm in a very small area. And uh, so, yeah, they fall. Free yourself from whatever has been restricting you. Free yourself from all the struggles because this is for a group you've been through a lot and a lot of people have. So don't feel alone. That is what's going on in the world. We have to clear out anything, settle, close out contracts in every aspect of life, even on a soul level. So this could be your perfect partner, the perfect job. You knew it was that, but it triggered you into the tower. Free yourself from all of the Ten of Swords energy. And when you do, very soon you've got somebody coming in. Now that is for the first week, two weeks, excuse me, the first two weeks of the month. So let's see what the message is for the last week. Because the last week is when you have this beautiful Ace of Cups. Codependency issues. So you may have been dealing with somebody and the cups are everywhere. They may have been an alcoholic. You may have, you may have, they may have been socializing a lot. But we're really talking about the dysfunctionality that took place in this situation. If this was a romantic situation, there may have been a lot of arguing and even bordering abuse with what is shown on the, on the table. So it's time to realize that person is gone and you have the freedom and the power to rewrite your life, to change anything codependency, where if it's a company, you're not codependent to the company. You do not enable them to keep you working without getting compensation. You can translate this into every aspect of your life because it isn't just encompass romance, it encompasses everything. Taurus, you have a wonderful ending to the month. You may have to deal with some struggles and make some huge changes, but you have everything in you to make it work for you where you come out victorious and actually get the offer, the opportunity that you love. Have an amazing day. Much love.